and I work at the East Asian Observatory James Clerk Maxwell Telescope on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Hawaii is sometimes called the Rainbow State because of all the beautiful rainbows that we get to see here. But you don't have to wait for the perfect conditions to see a rainbow. You can make your own rainbows anytime, anywhere. Today we are going to make and study rainbows, and then I have a rainbow challenge homework assignment for you, so stay tuned. Warning, never look directly at the sun through binoculars, a telescope, diffraction gratings, or with your unaided eye. Serious eye damage and even blindness can result. One way to make your own rainbow is to find an old CD you have at home. Use a flashlight or the sun to shine right onto the CD and it will reflect a rainbow onto your wall or wherever you shine it. Bonus points if you can prop up your CD so you can trace the rainbow and color it in. Next, let's get a glass of water and shine some light through it. What do we see? Another rainbow, cool. If it's a sunny day outside, you can make rainbows with your garden hose. Just turn your back to the sun and spray the hose at about a 40 degree angle. What do all these rainbows have to do with telescopes and astronomy? Well, do you ever look up at the night sky and wonder what all that space is made out of? Most everything we see in space is so far away that we wouldn't be able to travel there in our entire lifetimes to collect a sample, even if we traveled nearly at the speed of light. Astronomers like the ones who observe the universe from Mauna Kea have to be very clever. Instead of traveling to another star, they study a star whose light has already traveled to us. What astronomers have discovered is that the entire universe is made up of these tiny building blocks we call atoms. Atoms are like Lego pieces and there are many different kinds. All of the different atoms that we know that exist on Earth are called elements. Each element on the periodic table has its own unique fingerprint, or wavelength. Light is split into a rainbow of colors when it passes through a prism, or a diffraction grating. In the case of rainbows, a raindrop acts like a tiny prism, reflecting light off the side of the drop and then back out to you as a beautiful rainbow. If you are tuning into this video as part of Astro Day 2021, then you will find a diffraction grating like this in your activity kit. If we use our diffraction grating to look at white light, we will notice the whole rainbow of colors. That is because white light is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. But what if we looked at light that wasn't white? When light travels through the narrow slit of a diffraction grating, it splits the light into a spectrum of colors, making it possible to see which wavelengths make up the light that you see. Astronomers can use the light from faraway planets, stars, and galaxies to determine which elements are present. Here we have a spectrum tube of hydrogen. Let's take a look at its fingerprint. Do you notice how some of the colors appear brighter? Here is one of helium. Do you see how the hydrogen and helium lights have different bright lines? Astronomers have discovered that the universe is almost entirely made up of hydrogen and helium, but we have also discovered metals, water, and even complex sugars. All right, it's time for some homework with our EAO Rainbow Challenge. What kind of lights can you look at through your diffraction grating? Use a camera to take a picture through your diffraction grating at different lights that are in your environment. And then tag us on social media at hashtag EAO Rainbow Challenge. Using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope, we observe all kinds of things that our eyes can't see. We often look at stellar nurseries, big gas clouds in space that are in the process of giving birth to stars. We also look at older stars and even entire galaxies to better understand their environment and to figure out how stars are born. Instead of just looking at the colors though, we measure the brightness of each specific color and that can tell us not only what the material in space is made out of, but also the physical conditions of the material itself, like the temperature. That means we don't need to fly through space for thousands of years with a thermometer. We can tell what the environment is just by looking at the light it is emitting. We hope you had fun exploring rainbows and light with us. 
Don't forget to show us what rainbows you can create and tag us at hashtag EAO Rainbow Challenge. Until next time, ahuiho!